A recent legislative retreat to the shores of Grand Lake was an opportunity for GRDA to show its operations to lawmakers who might not otherwise have the chance to see the authority in action. In late July, GRDA teamed with the Grand Lake Association and others to host the legislators who spent a few days in the Grand Lake region. GRDA Board Director Jim Ritchie played host to the group during a special cookout at his Grand Lake home. The following day, GRDA CEO Dan Sullivan spoke to the group during a special luncheon at Arrowhead Yacht Club. Sullivan gave the group an overview of GRDA operations and also discussed some of the current issues like the generation plan, construction of the new gas plant, and GRDA's efforts to help boost the economic development in the Lakes region. The group also had the opportunity to visit the home of fellow legislator Dr. Doug Cox that evening for another cookout on the shores of Grand Lake. Opening the doors to GRDA operations for lawmakers and other state officials has been a key activity this summer. In early August, the Authority also played host to Secretary of Energy and Environment Michael Teague and several state agency heads during that group's monthly meeting. Sullivan also led the group on a tour of historic Pensacola Dam and explained the ways that many state agencies, GRDA, ODEQ, OWRB, and others work together on issues affecting not only electric production, but also water quality and wildlife conservation in Oklahoma.